yes the raw reality of trading is it's super super tough the odds are against you but are there people that succeed in this game absolutely so you're interested in trading whether that's trading stocks bonds commodities futures crypto whatever it may be you're interested and curious about trading but you want to know what is the raw reality of trading well the truth of the matter is this is going to be one of the hardest most challenging and most painful endeavors you decide to pursue not only is there a high chance of you failing but you will learn so much about your psychological and emotional relationship when it comes to money handling money putting on risk if you're risk averse or conservative you will learn so much about how the real world actually works how the government functions how the fed is printing all this money you will understand how these things work and how it affects your life on a day-to-day -day basis you will learn about the importance of investing why it's so important to invest how inflation is eating away at your buying power and things are just getting more and more expensive every single day so you will learn about all these things and that is the reality of trading so the first topic we're going to jump into is the learning curve now the learning curve is probably one of the most important factors when it comes into the raw reality of trading well why is the learning curve so long for me it took me about two years and then an extra year on top to really learn things about the market but why did it take so long well your first one to two years is probably just going to be you just sponging up all of this information and some of the problems are is there's a lot of noise out in the market not only do you have fake influencers but everything you do learn everyone you learn from they have their different ideas they have their different theories about how the market works why this happens over that and so all of this time you're going to be sponging up all this information and some of that information it, you're going to find out later down the road is, is not accurate is not true people just voice their opinions and so that's why there's such a long learning curve but on top of that you're going to have to test things out. So my first one to two years when it came to trading was I just sponged up all this information. And my third year when I was trading was just testing out all these different strategies, seeing what was working, what wasn't working, testing out indicators. And so there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to sponge up. And then you got to test and back test and see what's working. And then throughout that time, then you probably will find something that that works if you stick with this long enough. And so the learning curve is one of the biggest challenges when it comes to the reality, the raw reality of trading, because a lot of people cannot stand, you know, working towards something for one, two, three years, staying with it without seeing results, without seeing growth. It takes a long time and a lot of people just cannot stick with that journey and that's why a lot of people will back out of this endeavor all right and another topic we're going to jump into is regulations with trading well what am i really talking about well since i trade stocks and i'm more well versed into the stock market one of the problems is they have something called a pdt rule now all these brokers have different rules and requirements but for the brokers i use they require you to have at least $25,000 in your account if you want to be over PDT and that allows you to, to take more than three trades every five business days and so if you're under that $25,000 which is a lot of money a lot of people don't have $25,000 just sitting around ready to put in a brokerage account if you're under if you're under $25,000 well the problem is you're only allowed to take three trades every five business days and and that you know is a huge restriction i would not be able to make the money that i am making today through scalping if i was under twenty five thousand dollars in my account i just wouldn't be able to pull that money and i'd have to have a different strategy and a different way of how i navigate the market so there are regulations and restrictions in this game that do make it you know harder on you to to make money and navigate your way and another important topic when it comes to trading is the psychology and emotional aspect again at the end of the day everyone has a everyone has their own relationship with money money is one of the th money practically runs the world and so everyone needs money in order to survive and do the things they need to do but everyone has their own unique relationship when it comes to money some people are conservative super risk averse they don't like the thought of losing their hard-earned money and some people out there when the opportunity when the opportunities come they don't mind putting on the risk they don't mind losing money if it means they can make a lot of money on, on the other side if things do plan out and things do work again there's risk everywhere in our lives and everyone has their own unique relationship with money and so when it comes to trading 
again, every trade you take is going to have risk. There's things that won't work out and you will lose money in this game. And so how do you react? How are your emotions? When you lose money, are you angry? Are you upset? Are you frustrated? Are you stressed out? And how and, and all of those motions will impact your next decisions that you make throughout the day and throughout the next few minutes, hours, and again, throughout the whole day. And so how do you handle your emotions when you know, you're losing money or making money or putting on risk? And so that's a super important topic and super important element into this into this trading game. And another thing that we're going to talk about is risk management. And now in trading, what do we define as risk? Well, usually we define as risk, you know, what we might be losing. You know, what happens if things don't work out? Usually that's money. It could be emotions and things like that. But, but those are pretty much the big risk aspects uh, of trading. Unlike a job, there really, when we're looking at risk in terms of that, there really is no risk with a, with, with a job. You know, you're exchanging your hours for X amount of an, of an hourly wage. So instead of staying in bed all day, maybe you go work eight hours at a job and, and they pay $20 an hour. So you're getting you know, that money that there's not really a risk on your side, but unlike working a job and having that conservative money coming in with trading every single trade and opportunity that you take and you put a position on has risk. This means if you want to make a hundred dollars, you might be risking to lose $20 or $30 or $40 or $50. If you want to make a thousand dollars, you might be risking $200. $300, $500. So there is risk there. And with those risks, again, your emotions are coming into play because everyone has a relationship with money. And so your emotions come into play, not ideal emotions. There's going to be emotions of frustration, stressfulness, pain, and all of those emotions will affect your future decision making. And the problem is when it comes to trading, we need to be focused. We need to be performing as best as we can and all those emotions are going to go and attack your decision making and so that's a huge aspect of trading and when those emotions attack your decision making there are so many things that can go wrong when you have money on the line your hard-earned money on the line there's so many things that can go wrong if you're not in the right headspace and your emotions get the best of you sometimes you might bag hold a position and who knows how much money you can lose at that point. Maybe you put $5,000 in a position and you're just like, I don't want to lose money. I'm just going to wait for it to come back to a break even price and I will sell. What if it doesn't come back to your break even price and you just bag hold? Then who knows how much money you can lose at that point? You might double down. Maybe you're in a position and it's got, it's went lower and you're like, I'm going to buy even more here because it's even better here. And you know, maybe you're going against your your idea. You're not sure your your emotions got the best of you and maybe it doesn't get back to those prices. What if it just keeps going down? For example, if you were in a long position, well, you just double down in a really bad in a position that's going against you and, and now you're even losing more. So there's all these things that happen. And again, I have done all of these things. I have bag held. I have doubled down. I have done so many bad things. And I'm going to be honest, these are the things that will absolutely demolish your trading. They will take so much money out of your account. These are not things you want to be doing at all. All right. And then and the last topic we're going to be talking about is quitting. So the raw reality of trading is there is a learning curve. There are, you know, regulations, restrictions you got to get through. You got to handle your emotions. You got to understand risk management and you also have to just keep on pushing. And there's so many things in this space like fake influencers and misinformation. There's always trading regular. There's always, you know, changing of trading regulations and brokers and things like that. Maybe capital is a problem for you. You don't have the money to trade. So how are you going to get that capital? It takes a lot of time to save up $25,000. For example, if you want to get over the PDT rule with stocks. So there's all these things that come into trading. And a lot of people, when it comes to trading, it's very easy to just, you know, quit and say, Hey, I tried this. Things didn't work out. I'm not seeing the growth and results. When I was trading on my second year, going into my third year, everything I was doing, I was like, hey, I'm putting in so many countless hours of work 
and I'm not seeing any results. I'm not seeing any growth. I don't know if this is for me. I've thought about quitting more multiple times, more than three times, four times, five times, six times. I've thought about so many times in my career. I was like, hey, maybe this isn't for me or hey, if things don't start to you know work out soon, I have to figure something else out. And I'm super grateful things did work out. But maybe you're at those stages and all I can say is that your the work that you put in is is completely delayed so all the hours and work you're putting in you might not see that for an extended period of time until you know one day or maybe months down the road things start to click and you have that explosive move of, of growth and that really happened to me but it was all those countless hours of work that i was putting in and growth and building the skills that led up to hey things were starting to work things were clicking and that growth just absolutely shot up. And that's one of the problems is it's very hard to put in a lot of work and you don't see the results. Again, when you go to work a job, you make that money, you get paid the following week or biweekly, however it is. It's pretty quick, you know? But with trading, you might be putting in work for weeks and weeks and weeks and you haven't seen, you know, you might still be losing money. So it's very easy to just give up. When you're putting in all this work, you don't see the results, you don't see the growth. And the way I went about it is every time I felt like quitting, I was like, hey, just keep pushing. You know, the people who succeed in this game, they, they don't give up. Everyone in this game who has succeeded has thought about quitting multiple times. The thing is, they didn't quit. They kept on pushing, they kept on pushing, and eventually things did work out. But Things are not going to work out if you do give up. That's the thing. And the way I looked at it was, hey, even if things don't work out with trading, what's the bright side? Well, there's so many good things. If Even if trading doesn't work out, there's so many good things that, that happen. First of all, you learn so much about yourself. You learn what kind of person you are and, and how you react when your emotions are high. You learn about your relationship with money. Are you super conservative? Do you not like losing money? Are you okay with losing money as long as there's opportunities and, and you're learning? You know, you learn so many things about that. You also learn about the government, how the world is, how the world actually runs, where the money is, where's money being rotated, how the Fed is printing money. All of these things you learn about the economy and the actual real world. And the most important is those are all important, but another key one is you learn about investing. No matter what it is, everyone is going to need to invest their money and a lot of people do that in the stock market so even if trading doesn't work out for you you learned a lot about how to invest you learned about companies you learned about how to where to park your money you might have learned about technical analysis fundamental analysis the returns how important it is to invest because again inflation is eating away at the amount of money you have, your $10,000 today won't be worth $10,000 five, 10 years from now. It's going to be worth a lot less. That's why you got to put your money to work and invest it. And so even if trading doesn't work out, you learned all of these super important and life-changing factors that are going to impact your life and, and really benefit you years and years and years to, to come in the future. And so, yes, the raw reality of trading is it's super, super tough. The odds are against you, but are there people that succeed in this game? Absolutely. There are people that succeed in this game. And even if things don't work out for you, there's still a bright side to it. You learn all of these important aspects that, that will absolutely change your life. And that is one of the beauties about trading too. Even if things don't work out, that is completely okay. And you learned so much and that knowledge and education is everything all right so i hope all you guys enjoyed this video the raw reality of trading it was a little bit more of a serious video but i know a lot of you guys i don't want to bs you i really just want to put that information out there and give you the raw reality of trading and my three to four years of trading and kind of you know how i navigated it thought about it things like that um with that being said i hope you all enjoyed this video again i have a free discord down below you can just join in, learn about that. I have a bunch of information and key content and answered questions there. Love to answer questions. My Instagram will be down below. You could follow me on my Instagram. I do post training content and answer questions there too. That's another place to get in reach with me. And I also will have a budget sheet coming out. 
and this budget sheet I, I worked on it it was it was really really sweet and i know it's going to help a lot of you with your budgeting how you're going to calculate how much you need to save for retirement and it's going to be super super helpful for all of you and it's going to be free it, it's don't need to pay me anything anything like that completely free the discord the instagram the youtube content the budget template and so hope you all enjoyed thank you so much for watching do something today that your future self will benefit see you next time